I noticed that I had that thought first with Pauli when Pauli Malinaji and Pauli would make comments and you know, they were just sincere comments of his life. He said, oh, Shane Mosley shot me this or Mike Tyson told me this or Mayweather you know, showed me like this. And uh, you know, these big name legendary boxers and I'm like, well, you know, that's why you're a five-time champion is you were learning from a bunch of other champions. If you were hanging out at Bobo's gym all day and, uh, and not around that level of talent, you'd never have that level of talent. You'd, you'd be learning from Bobo, <laughs> who was Bobo's mentor. <laughs> There's, I guess, a chance you could, but it's random and luck. I, I don't like those odds. No, I, don't I think about math a lot, and I don't like those odds. If you don't have a million dollars yet, you're living a much lesser life than what could be easily available to you with the right guidance. My head coach has freed up a few spots in his calendar to hold one-on-one -on -one strategy calls with the highest quality applicants. If you're doing well already and you're looking to accelerate your momentum and do even better, click the link in the description now and apply for your strategy session more at the end of this video. Uh, you and I were laughing yesterday. As, uh, there's a video, uh, last week I filmed a video right here with uh, Glover Teixeira and Alex Pereira. And Alex had just won the, a couple days before then. He just won the main event at UFC 300. And, you know, you'd won a main event in, in the past at, uh, at UFC 100, yeah? No, that's the one I actually ended up losing. The one I you got won before that. So, that was the, uh, the, the one for one with each other. Yeah. Never got the rope match. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, well, you were the main event at oh, UFC yeah. 100, and you had a, had a win over your opponent previous to that. Um, in any case, Alex, uh, Alex and Glover and I did the interview, and we were talking about uh, you know Chuck in there because you know Chuck is, you know Chuck was uh, you know world champion and was uh, you know he mentored Glover, and Glover was world champion and mentored Alex, and Alex is current world champion. And I was talking about that lineage, and you know the painting right behind us here is uh, is Aristotle and and Plato in the the middle there, and. You know, Socrates was the mentor of, of Plato, and Plato was the mentor of Aristotle, and Aristotle was the mentor of Alexander the Great. Yeah. And Alexander f***ed up everything and, uh, you know, conquered more than the known world. Everything, all the known territory on Earth and more. That's done, yep. Um, and, and, you know, he, he had different ambitions, obviously, than his philosopher mentors, but... Uh, was also influenced by them. In any case, I was thinking about that lineage of, of mentorship and... Um, and by the way, if you if you have a lineage of mentors that uh, you're, you're learning from, yeah, uh, Glover and Alex and uh, and Chuck and Frank okay. and so on, you know, you're you're learning a lot of best practices from those people and the history of the best practices. Furthermore, of you know how how, how the evolution of of the sport in many ways. Um, if you're hanging out with you know Bobo at the local gym, um, you know you're probably learning not much. I noticed that I had that thought first with Pauli when Pauli Malinaji and. Paulie would make comments, and you know, they were just sincere comments of his life. He said, oh, Shane Mosley shot me this, or Mike Tyson told me this, or Mayweather you know, showed me like this. And uh, you know, these big name legendary boxers, and I'm like, well, you know, that's why you're a five-time champion, is you were learning from a bunch of other champions. If you were hanging out at Bobo's gym all day and, uh, and not around that level of talent, you'd never have that level of talent. You'd, you'd be learning from Bobo. <laughs> Who was Bobo's mentor? <laughs> there was, I guess, a chance you could, but it's random and luck. I, I don't like those odds. No, I don't. I think about math a lot, and I don't like those odds. In any case, we, I, I mentioned a story in there about uh, Chuck, the, the first time Chuck came to train with me, that uh, I know he's, he's you know, pretty rough, and I had bruises for a couple of weeks, and so on and so on. And then one of the guys in the YouTube comments is like, is like making fun of me for that. And I thought to myself, you know, I've been training for four months at that time. So first of all, Chuck can't do that today. Chuck's been here several times. He's coming back in a couple of months. He comes back in July. That said, I don't mean to say that in a disrespectful way. Just my, you know, his, his skill set is about the same. And my skill set has got a hell of a lot better in the last couple of years. And, uh, but in any case, you know, the, the, the way the guys kind of tried poking at me, like, um, how, you know, nobody would even go train with, you know, no one even put themselves in that situation, you know? You're four months into training. First of all, you wouldn't have social access to even do shit like that. And secondly, if you did have access to it, most people would be too goddamn scared to get on the mat with you or Chuck or, uh, you know, somebody that's, uh, you know, has a significant, uh, you know, decades of, of more experience and talent than you do. When you're four months in, a lot of guys wouldn't even get on the Former world champion, wrestling college, kickboxing champ. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you, and if Chuck me up, what the 
what would he do to you? <laughs> what would he do to the... I don't mean to poke at the people here, but what would he do to the guy that makes the hater comment on the internet? Like, anything he wants. It's the critic, man. Anything. The man in the arena. I told you, the Teddy Roosevelt, it's a quote that he has, that I, I have it up in my room. I constantly look at it. Anytime I'm pretty callous against it, I laugh at it anytime I see some of the criticism people come up with, because I can see where, I can see right through it. It's like a Freudian slip where I'm like, oh, I, I can see your insecurities. I can see your, your despair. There's almost a pity that comes from me. Like, I look at somebody, ah, oh, man, I'm so sorry that this is the life you chose to live, and when you die, it's like the world never knew you were here. You're, what a waste of existence. But, so I have more of a, you know, almost like a sorrow when I hear those. But it's came back a little bit because I have my children and now it's funny. When I blow off and rub off on my shoulder, when I read something about my, my kids, I get angry again. <laughs> it's like, it's new all over again, like, God damn it. So I have to remind myself, okay, man, it's just the critic, you know, just the buffoon of the edge of the, you know, that, that, that has no uh, means or no ability to even want to expose themselves to failure, let alone go out there and actually compete go out there and push themselves and go out there and, and be exposed because, you know, they just, they're too afraid. They live life scared shitless and hide behind a keyboard knowing that they'll never, ever, ever put themselves out there and they're going to blame that they didn't have opportunity or they didn't have abilities or they didn't have the means. And if they really, really ever, which is a nightmare for them, if they ever really think about it, it's like, oh, there was a gym down the street or there's online, like, I mean, now with, hell, with, with education, with, with it's really hard to say that you don't have access to shit nowadays. It's, it's almost impossible. You said, well, I didn't have the means. I'm like, really? You don't have a phone? You can YouTube it. You know what I mean? You, can, you really, if there's a will, there's a way. If there's ever a situation, I mean, you live in some country or some you know, village in, uh, you know, in Africa, North Africa, you might give me an argument that you didn't have the means or the ways to maybe have opportunities presented to you. But you live here in the U.S., no. It's a lack of effort. It's a lack of you having the balls to push forward and want it. Yeah, so the demonstration of your your weak effort and weak intellect. Weak effort and weak intellect. Uh, Tim says, uh, hey, Derek, uh, thanks for being in Frank. It's fantastic to see you two together. In many ways, you're both uh, exceptional role models. I also want to take the time to say that it was an honor to be uh, part of that program again. I'm very proud of what I did in the, the last years, but I was in the course and your personal advice but it was, it was this course and your personal advice that has helped me make millions, and I'm certain there are, are more to, uh, to come. Hope you guys are having a great day and see you soon. Um, Kim sent me a, a text message earlier where he uh, showed yeah, yesterday's, uh, yesterday's earnings where he was up. I gotta zoom in on that. 159,200, up 159.2. And um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's not a bad day. No, that's not a bad day. <laughs> so, you know, and, and that's the difference to somebody who's gone through, this guy has gone through the course multiple times. We know each other for something close to a decade now. Uh, has gone through the course multiple times. Um, comes to every damn live event. So every live event, he's there, you know, four or five times a year. You know, flies from a different continent to be here. He lives in Germany. Flies from Germany to be here four or five times a year to be part of the group, to be active with us. And um, you committed. Yeah. And, you know, and it's not surprising that somebody that has that, that sort of, uh, you know, level of commitment and, and a good intellect has the results to go with it. So it makes a lot of sense to me. So thank you, Tim. You watch this video all the way through, and that tells me you're dedicated to learning more and earning far above average outcomes in your life. Congratulations for that. But now it's time to take action. If you could have earned those results by yourself, you would have done it already. My head coach has opened up a few spots on his high demand calendar for an in-person one-on-one strategy session to help you. On this call, we'll give you the pragmatic advice that you can implement tonight to get laser focused on the right metrics and leave mediocrity far behind in your past. Click that link right now in the description below and apply for your call immediately. Do it now.